Understanding, Lunge and Recover, an English Language Exploration. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases. Our focus will be on understanding the meaning and use of the phrases, lunge, and recover. These terms, often heard in various contexts, carry interesting connotations and applications. So, let's unravel their meanings together. Lunge is a term often associated with physical movement, particularly in sports or exercise. It refers to a sudden forward movement. Imagine a fencer making a quick forward thrust or someone stepping forward energetically during a workout. In a broader sense, lunge can also be used metaphorically to describe a sudden movement towards something in a non-physical context, like lunging at an opportunity. On the other hand, recover is a term that signifies returning to a normal state after a deviation. It implies regaining balance, control, or composure. In physical activities, it means getting back to the initial position after making a move, like after a lunge. In a wider sense, it can refer to overcoming difficulties or bouncing back from setbacks, such as recovering from an illness or a financial loss. When we combine these terms into the phrase, lunge and recover, it depicts a sequence of actions or events. It's about making a bold move, lunge, and then returning to stability, recover. This phrase can be applied in various scenarios, from sports to business and life decisions. It illustrates the dynamic of taking a risk or making an assertive move and then stabilizing or correcting one's position. Let's look at some examples. In a fitness class, an instructor might say, now, let's do a lunge and recover exercise. In a business meeting, someone might describe a strategy as, we need to lunge at this opportunity but be ready to recover if things don't go as planned. That's all for today's exploration of lunge and recover. We hope this video has shed light on these intriguing phrases and how they can be applied in various contexts. Remember, language is not just about words, but the vivid pictures they paint in our lives. Keep learning and keep exploring. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. See you in the next video.